We can get to know deeper about a culture. That is why I hope a lot of Chinese can get to know more about India through maybe Tamil, Hindi, whatever the language is, and we can get to know more about India. My class, yeah, now we have ten students from all of China, different parts of China. They are very interested in Tamil culture. I read a book. It's about、um, it's a travel log of traveling across India, and I found all、oh, that very amazing, fascinating country. So when I choose my major in university, I think I should learn something relating to maybe Indian language or culture. Language channel, but it's basically you know introducing China to the Tamil listeners. So like we have a programs like traveling in China, learning Chinese language and Chinese folk stories. You know the first time I take a bus in Bondicherry, I don't have five rupee change, but some auntie I don't know she bought a ticket for me. Language and culture very much. I think there should be more Chinese to know this language. But what I was doing in the radio station, I think it's reversed. It's like introducing China to the Tamils, but not introducing Tamil to the Chinese. So that is why I want to teach now. I hope more young guys in China can get to know about this language. We are now starting from the alphabets. So you know, Tamil have two hundred and forty-seven alphabets, and the writing system is so different from Chinese. The pronunciation is one of the most difficult part. You know, in Tamil we have a saying is called "sitramum kai paragam sendamum na paragam." It's like painting is a practice of the hand, and、uh, Tamil is a practice of tongue, because it's、um, very different from Chinese pronunciation. China, India, we're two giant neighbors, but people know so little about each other. It's such a great country, just like China. So I hope, yes,、yeah, through my very limited efforts, more Chinese young guys can get to know more about.